Now, this is still a part of the other video. I shot them in different sections, so if you see it changing colors, that's part of the chemical conversion going on with the special solution that I created with the acetic acid and distilled water. So, you can watch that other video. I'll put it in the description down below. And um, right now, I'm going to show you guys how to mask off these windows. And, um, of course, the first step, you can see how dusty it is. You don't really have to go overkill, but you're going to want to clean these windows with a uh, rag. You're going to want to spray these windows with a cleaner, obviously. Clean the edges where you're going to put the tape. And then, um, as these panels are curing, as you look below, with the uh, chemical conversion going on, with that spray that I made, you can look at it in the description down below, like I said. I'll show you guys how to mask off this window. You can use newspaper at times, and um, I'm not against it. I like to usually use plastic. I just use what was on hand at the time, and yeah, there's a lot of blue tape, but when you guys have more blue tape or something like that on hand, I had endless rolls from the last job. I just wanted to use some of it up. I was kind of bored, and it works perfectly the same as everything else. Just tape everything off, and if there's any holes or anything like that, check it it i'll show you guys this is about videos how to like do things at your house right now especially during this quarantine newspaper is going to be on hand especially if you're still part of that delivery service but, um just trying to show you guys how to do things as cheap as you can with the materials on hand during this pandemic this is what i like to use to clean windows of course not everyone's going to have access to this at my shop, I pretty much get everything that's a uh, professional grade. Or sometimes I use just standard commercial or just industrial grade stuff. This stuff works miracles. It just makes your job so much easier. I am not sponsored by them. It's just a very good product and I like to use it. So just give it a shake. Lather up the glass. These things haven't been cleaned since, uh, I think it's been on the road 2012. Just ignore all the coloring. Like I said, that's part of the chemical conversion going on. There's another video about that. But right now, I'm trying to do two things at once. I like to multitask. Just scrub it down. We'll have another video about how to remove overspray. And I'll show you another video how to remove that actual sealant that they put on. This is how old this car is. The sealant melted. And I'm actually going to reapply it in some areas where it's needed. This should be good enough so that I can apply the tape. All right. You can pretty much use anything to tape up a window or anything that you're trying to tape up. I'm not trying to tape off my molding. I'm trying to actually respray that with the primer at the same time. And I'm trying to recolor it because this is going to be a two-tone car and it's going to be black. So I'm going to make it look brand new again because they're actually, they're not breaking or anything. They just need to be resurfaced. There's no major cracks or anything in it. They're all looking pretty much like they're new as long as I spray them and give them a brand new look because they've been faded from the UV light from the sun. All right, YouTube, pay attention to our daily videos that come through to help you out when you're uh, doing some projects around the house. That's why I showed how to tape it up like this versus just like a simple one piece of plastic. You can use paper, whatever you want, and just move on forward with your day. Just helps you get through the, the project faster, and I'll show you guys what the next video is. And um, pay attention for our next video.